In this video, we are going to study about the uh, canal lining. Yes, in previous section, we had uh, classified the canal based on the material or based on the boundary surface that is present. So, once the canal is excavated in the uh, finer material or a finer uh, soil sample, so it is called as an alluvial channel. Then once it is uh, uh, excavated in a non-alluvial part, that means it is constructed in a loamy, rocky, uh, then clay part, then it is called as a non-alluvial soil, or sorry, non-alluvial canal. And once the um, uh, canal is excavated and uh, once the boundary of this canal section has the rigid boundary, or uh, when it uh, properly, see, uh, practically it is not possible that once you excavate it and that uh, excavated the canal section and you will get the rigid boundary uh, automatically. So you need to uh, give a proper uh, lining section for this canal sec canal cross section. So generally, uh, this type of a canal is called as a rigid canal or lined canal. So, what is exactly that lining is? What is the necessity of that lining is? Let's see. See, basically, uh, to minimize the losses which are occur in the uh, canal, so that the losses will be reduced when we uh, provide and when we done the canal lining. So, uh, what exactly happened by providing this canal lining? Basically, it gives a a uh, smart look and good look appearance. Then, uh, secondly, the canal uh, or canal uh, has sustained the maximum discharge from the inlet up to a outlet. So, let's see the point one by one. See, necessity is to minimize the seepage losses in the canal. Once uh, the canal is in alluvial or non-alluvial zone, so because of that percolated and because of that porous property of that soil material, the losses uh, or the water will get percolated towards the groundwater table. So, to minimize that losses, we need to do a lining to increase the discharge in the canal section by increasing the velocity, definitely, to prevent the erosion of bed and site due to the high velocity. So, continuously affection of that velocities on the side slopes of the canal the side slope may get affected and it will get disturbed uh, continuously and damaged continuously. So, to uh, to avoid this and to prevent this side slopes properly, we need to do a lining. Then, to retard the growth of a width. So, certainly the boundary is a rigid one. So, the width cannot uh, get a proper medium to uh, grow. So, uh, certainly, uh, the, uh, completely the width, uh, we can control the width growth to reduce the maintenance of canal. So, once we give and once we provide the lining, yes, initially we need a certain cost for this lining purpose. But after this, no need to do any maintenance and no need to uh, add the maintenance cost in this canal. Uh, meant canal uh, cross section. So, here by providing this, we should reduce the maintenance of the canal also. Yes, there are lots of or uh, there are various advantages of the canal lining. So, what are they? Let's discuss. See, basically, first advantage it prevents the seepage loss, loss and thus more area can be irrigated by the water and so saved. The cost of the irrigation is reduced, definitely. It provides a smooth surface. The rugosity coefficient, therefore, decreases. That means the friction which is developed in between the water surface area and the uh, boundary surface area, that rugosity coefficient that will be developed, that will be reduces and decreases. The resistance of flow also decreases and hence the velocity of flow in canal also increases. The increased velocity minimizes the losses due to the evaporation. Yes, the losses due to the evaporation, it may be a very negligible. So, or it may be a 5 to 20% of the seepage loss itself. So,
so generally we cannot uh, count and we cannot uh, look after for the evaporation losses but uh, here uh, once the uh, velocity will increase in the line canal so definitely the evaporation losses also be minimized higher velocity prevents the silting of a canal so because of all these reasons once the velocity will get increased so uh, the silting will not be get deposited and along with the water flow this silt will also carried away so the increased velocity prevents the silting it reduces the maintenance cost and possibility of a breaching due to the increased stability of the section it reduces it prevents reduce or reduces bed growth it increases available head for power generation as a flatter gradient can be provided so though we have a flatter gradient uh, for the power generation we need to store the water at the higher higher level or higher elevation so that we can um, allow this water to fall on the turbine then the generation of the electricity will be uh, produced but here because in the canal the velocity is the maximum and velocity is increased so by using that increased velocity also we can use the reaction turbine or we can develop and we can generate the electricity also it prevents water to come in contact with the harmful salts during the transit so yes the soluble salts or whatever the soluble minerals are there present so it protects the water uh, once or before uh, supplying it to the agricultural field or whenever it is needed certainly some uh, though or uh, the, this have uh, the advantages the least of the advantages are to uh, we can say that that is uh, more advantages are there but certainly some uh, disadvantages uh, are also there so what are they see basically it requires a heavy initial investment definitely so the total depends upon the length of the canal so as the length of the canal increases definitely the investment cost is also initial i am talking about the initial once you uh, give the uh, proper lining to the canal so definitely it uh, gives you a benefits the least of the benefits that you had studied right now so uh, basically you have the um, heavy package in your hand for the this lining purpose it is difficult to shift the outlets very often it is very difficult to repair the damaged lining so once the uh, section of the line canal will get affected and will get damaged because of the heavy material which is inserted into the canal section or because of any reason so this cannot be get uh, remodified and this cannot be get repaired so once it gets damaged so we need to do the lining from the starting point up to a end point once again so again this includes or this uh, requires a high cost so we need to do a special care for the maintain uh, for the or uh, we need to look after for this lining section properly so this is the canal lining uh, yes we had studied in this uh, chapter that is what are the classification what are the losses so to minimize these losses what should we have to do uh, during the flow of the uh, water and when the discharge will be occurred into the channel section then how we can maintain the uh, channel section how we can measure the discharge through this canal section so yes this is very interesting topic so based on this again the lining section will be also a very important one and in the exam the uh, on, on this whole topic only a five marks question will be asked you that is right short note on canal lining right short note on cross section right short note on cross section of a canal right short note on maintenance of a canal right short note on losses in a canal likewise all uh, that part we had studied na 
so on all this part the question will be like uh, or question will be for only five marks so prepare your answer according to this thanks for watching this video